Though the lives of saints such as Athanasius of Alexandria, Basil the Great, Gregory of Nyssa, and Gregory the Theologian have been addressed, one cannot conclude the 4th century without mentioning the greatest Christian author of Western Christianity, Augustine of Hippo, and the greatest Christian orator of Eastern Christianity, John Chrysostom. John was born in Antioch around 347 AD and died in exile in the year 407 AD. He was raised by his widowed mother to be a rhetorician, then later a theologian after he became committed to Christianity. John was a reader in the church for a number of years until he became an ascetic opposing all offers of priesthood. Against his will, he was ordained a deacon, then a priest, and finally Archbishop of Constantinople in 398 AD. Because of his strong views about the behavior of the emperor, his popularity in the palace deteriorated immensely. At the hand of the empress along with Theophilus of Alexandria, John Chrysostom was exiled twice. During the second exile, John was not assigned a place of exile. This meant that he was to walk with no determined destination until his soul leaves his body. Having died excommunicated by Alexandria, John's name was later reinstated in the diptychs of Alexandria by Cyril of Alexandria, who was Theophilus's nephew and who would succeed him to the patriarchal throne. Now, the term diptychs refers to the official lists of the living and departed that are commemorated by the church during the liturgical gatherings. John left behind him a collection of six books on the priesthood, a number of letters, and countless homilies ranging from commentaries on the scripture to Christian morals and ethics such as marriage, fasting, and giving alms. Augustine was born in 354 AD in Algeria to a middle-class family and died there in 430 AD before the siege of Hippo at the hands of the barbarians, who put an end to the presence of Christianity in the 6th century. Augustine received first-class education through his parents, who borrowed money to ensure that he received proper education. Augustine had an immense interest in philosophy, but lived a hedonistic lifestyle, indulging in sensual pleasures, which resulted in a child born in adultery. His mother Monica was in sorrow and tears, desiring the repentance of her son. Eventually, Augustine would repent and become an ascetic, then later a bishop in 395 AD. Though Augustine composed numerous theological writings and commentaries on scripture, it should be noted that he did not know Hebrew and Greek. As such, he relied exclusively on the Vulgate, which is the Latin translation of scripture, and which, as some scholars suggest, contains inaccuracies in its translation, which would eventually affect Augustinian theology and Augustine's perception of the ancestral sin, the purgatory, and the filioque. Augustine's legacy included treatises such as On Christian Doctrine, On the Trinity, The Confessions, City of God, and numerous commentaries on Scripture. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified of all our future content. You can also follow our official Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages. Please support this mission on Patreon. Here's also a link to the Arabic YouTube channel.
Please also contact us through our official web pages if you have any questions, comments, or concerns on the content of the videos. Thank you.